Welcome to Electron Line. Here's yet another example of how to apply this special technique where we have a first order differential equation that is at first not separable and if we make the, the right substitution we're going to be able to do so. We're going to be able to separate the variables and integrate both sides. So the first thing we want to do probably is move the denominator here over to the other side so it gives us y plus x times y prime is equal to y minus x. And then notice, because we have this plus and this minus sign there, we have too many terms of y's and x's that makes it hard to separate the variables. What if we multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over x? If we do that, let's see what we get. So here we get y divided by x plus 1 multiplied times y prime is equal to y divided by x minus 1. So now we have two, fa two fractions, y over x, one over here, one over there. And so let's go ahead and make that substitution. Let u equal y over x, which means that y is equal to u times x, which means that y prime can be written as the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, the u dx, which means this is equal to u plus x times u prime. So when we take that and we substitute that back in here, let's see what we get. So let y over x be u, so this becomes u plus 1. y prime will become the quantity u plus x times u prime is equal to, here we get y over x is u minus 1. All right, where do we go from here? Well, let's see here. Let's just multiply that and see what we get. So multiply u times this, you get u squared plus u times x times u prime plus u plus 1 times this, which is hmm, x times u prime, which is equal to u minus 1. Wow, that's quite a mess. Hmm. Well, let's continue on and see what we get. All right, so what I didn't see was I have a u on this side and a u on that side. First, I thought I'm, I have a big mess here, but notice we can simplify things quite a bit by canceling out that u and canceling out that u on both sides of the equation. Now things look a lot better. So now we're going to factor out a u prime out of these two terms. So we end up with u squared plus u prime times, and here we have u times x, and here we have plus x is equal to minus 1. Okay, the next thing we can do here is factor out an x and move the u squared over to the other side. So we have u prime times x times u plus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus u squared. And then what I can do is factor the minus 1, divide both sides by u plus 1. So now we end up with, and I'm going to substitute or change u prime into du dx. So we have a du dx times x is equal to minus 1 times u squared plus 1 divided by u plus 1. Now we can go ahead and um, separate the variables. What I can do now is move the dx over there, x over here. So this becomes a u plus 1 divided by u squared plus 1. When I move this down here and this up here, times du is equal to minus dx over x. Now I truly was able to separate the variables, and it looks like I can go ahead and integrate both sides now. However, when I look at this, hmm, I don't have a proper differential in the numerator relative to the denominator. So what I'm going to do there is separate the numerator into two parts. So I can say this can be written as u divided by u squared plus 1 plus 1 divided by u squared plus 1. The whole thing multiplied times du and that equals minus dx over x. Ah, all right, that's a lot better because now I can go ahead and integrate both sides. So I integrate this and I can integrate this. Now here I end up with a u squared plus 1 in the denominator with a u du in the numerator. Hmm, I don't have the proper differential. I need a 2u, so I need a 1 half and a 2. So this can be written as the integral of, let me show you in a different color what I'm talking about. 
So multiply this by one half times u. Multiply this times 2 because I need a proper differential. And that is u squared plus 1 times du. And then plus the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 times du is equal to minus the integral of dx over x. All right, so now I have two integrals on the left side. I am indeed able to integrate because the differential of u squared is 2u du, which I now have. So this becomes, I know I don't need an equal sign there. So this becomes a 1 half, because I still have the 1 half here, which comes out the integral sign, times the integral of this, which is going to be the natural log of u squared plus 1, plus the integral of this is the arc tangent. So this is the arc tangent of u so arctangent of u, isn't it? Yeah, arctangent of u, which is equal to the negative of the natural log, the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. So how to simplify this? Let's get rid of the one half. All right, let's do that. So we're going to end up with the natural log of u squared plus one plus two times the arctangent, arctangent of u is equal to minus 2 times the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. Now 2 times c1 becomes c2. Next I can substitute back in. So what I can do here is I can say u squared is equal to y squared over x squared. So I end up with the natural log of y squared over x squared plus 1 plus 2 times the arctangent of u. So at this point, it's just kind of an algebraic exercise, right? But we want to put it in a little better form. And I can go, I can take this and write as minus the natural log of x squared, like this, because I take the 2 and bring it up here, plus a constant of integration. Then if I simplify this a little bit more, I can say, well, this is equal to the natural log of y squared plus x squared over x squared, because I put over the same common denominator plus 2 times the arctangent of u is equal to minus the natural log of x squared plus a constant of integration. Now I can use the rules of logarithms to write this as the natural log of y squared. This would become y squared plus x squared minus the natural log of x squared plus 2 times the arctangent of u Oh, I didn't substitute that yet, right, did I? So let's write it as the arctangent of y over x, like so, equals minus the natural log of x squared uh, plus a constant of integration. Now notice I have a minus natural log of x squared, minus natural log of x squared. This cancels out. And finally, I think I have the proper form. I can write the natural log of y squared plus x squared plus 2 times the arctangent of y over x is equal to a constant of integration, and that's probably the best format to leave it in. Of course, that's a matter of opinion, but hey, that looks pretty good. So that is the solution to our original differential equation. Again, in order to be able to separate the variables, we had to make the substitution that u is equal to y over x, and that's how it's done.